Okay, Drew, tell me all about the YDX Torque. Oh, the YDX Torque is an awesome trail bike. Yeah, so the YDX Torque has an exceptionally progressive geometry when compared to many hardtails that are in the market. So we have a longer top tube, smaller head tube, and a longer front center for a really nice uh, cornering capability and handling on switchbacks, tight terrain, and really steep terrain, whether you're climbing up or going downhill. And part of our overall design by having a side exiting battery really does give our designers a lot of freedom when uh, uh, determining what the ultimate geometry is gonna be. So what this has allowed us to do is make an exceptionally low standover height, which lowers the center of gravity and it can, goes back to the handling characteristics when moving the bike side to side. On the front end, we have our RockShox Recon RL fork with a remote lockout lever on the handlebar. So when you are transitioning from dirt to pavement, you can actually slow down the compression setting so that it is a bit more efficient for you. And then of course the rebound adjustment is on the right lower leg. It's a 275 uh, or 27 and a half inch uh, wheel with silkworm tires and eyeleted rims with brass nipples for ultimate durability no matter which type of environment and climate you live in. Part of the PWX series, we have our control switch up top and all of our uh, uh, computer functions as all of our other Yamaha Power Assist bicycles, bicycles do. But with our lithium ion 500 watt hour battery, the PWX operates in its first four power settings at 70 newton meters of torque and at the top level EXPW, it will actually operate at 80 newton meters of torque, up to 20 miles an hour assist, max of 500 watts, and nominal of 250. We've also taken it a step further with the geometry of the frame and integrated uh, cable routing for the dropout, or excuse me, for the dropper post, uh, if you so choose to install one. But we've also even left a port on the side of the down tube so that if you want to run an internal hose for a dropper, you can actually run it through the down tube over the top of the motor case and up to the seat tube. We do have frame size specific geometry for small, medium, large, and that way we can make sure that every rider from small to large has the exact same ride characteristics. We have a 1x11 Shimano drivetrain and a KMC e-bike specific chain for ultimate durability when you're putting a lot of pressure on that drive system. We also have a 142x12 through axle rear with the Yamaha Power Assist Bicycle Speed Sensor. And that's a bit different than what we're used to seeing in the market in that it's not a wheel on a spoke uh, magnet uh, interface. So part of the uh, speed sensor, what it, what it really means for us is it actually works faster than any other system we have here in the US. And it allows for the motor to adjust its input at a much quicker basis. We've even tucked the wheel sensor into the dropout so it's hidden away from the rotors and it's part of the rear hub. So part of the 1x11 drivetrain, you'll see that we actually have a clutch on the rear derailleur. So that, would, that will actually adjust the amount of tension that is on the chain pulley system itself. When it is turned off, you'll have a lot of extra movement. When it's on, it's nice and tight, okay? On our system, we actually even take it a step further and put a skinny, fat chain ring configuration so that it has a perfect interface with a skinny and fat uh, uh, spacing between the actual pins and plates of the chain. So that keeps the chain on even in really bumpy conditions. We we'll also put on size specific uh, crank arms. So between the large and the small, you have a different crank arm size uh, because it'll actually allow you to have a, a quicker rotation of the pedals that fit your leg length. Yeah, the YDX Torque is an awesome bike for riding the trails, commuting to and from work if you really wanted it to. Uh, but it really shines when you take it in the steep sections on single track uh, and corners and handles really, really well no matter what type of riding environment you put it in. Oh, sweet. So it'll be a really good bike for kind of an all around, but when you get out to the mountains, it's 100% capable. Absolutely. Sweet. Thank you very much, Drew. My pleasure, Mikey. Thanks for coming out. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Do I need...